Hello again and welcome to the uh, International Soccer Preview by Soccer Files Canada. Uh, my name is Kevin and I have no host for, uh, no co-host for this uh, podcast. We're currently doing the African Cup 2021 uh, players here and uh, this is series seven of our soccer podcast history and today we'll be looking at Zimbabwe, uh, Zimbabwe's players. So uh, for the people watching on YouTube, I have a simple uh, graphic, a simple list where you can look at the player names. And for the people listening to a podcast, I'm going to repeat those names uh, several times just to help you uh, familiarize yourselves with them. So let's begin by looking at the manager of Zimbabwe. And it is a famous uh, Zimbabwean player, Norman Mapenza. Uh, he was uh, on the national team from 1993 to 2001, and he had 92 caps with them, uh, but no goals. He was a defensive midfielder, and uh, he played for some uh, fairly big clubs. Uh, he played for uh, most of his career, I would say, in Turkey, uh, where he started with uh, Galatasaray and uh, played for several uh, teams in Turkey and was actually the top scorer in the Turkish League in 2000 uh, when he played for Alte. Um, he also played in Austria and in Poland and in uh, Zimbabwe, and he ended his career in South Africa in 2006. After that, he became a manager. He, he took uh, on some clubs in Zimbabwe, uh, mostly FC Platinum, but he always seemed to be involved with the Zimbabwe national team. He was caretaker manager three times and also the national team manager twice. Uh, so this is his second stint as the national team manager. Uh, we are going to code him as a definite. And that's how we uh, kind of go through this podcast. We uh, give a little bio on the players, and uh, that includes how much they played in the last year. So uh, mostly using that, uh, we we code them into definite, likely, possible, possible but unlikely, seem to be off the squad or retired uh, or injured or uh, knew if they had not shown up on the soccer files radar, but the, but were then named to the preliminary squad. Uh, Zimbabwe did name a preliminary squad of 30 players and then reduced it uh, to 23. So we'll begin with goalkeepers. And actually we have um, no definite and no likely there uh but we have six candidates as possible so i think what i'm gonna do is uh just kind of quickly introduce them and uh then go back and actually give some biographical information on the ones that were selected so uh washington aruby uh played one of their eight games in 2021 and was on the bench for three others uh bernard donovan is their most veteran keeper um of this bunch at least uh, and he uh, returned to the team after a three-year absence in November uh, but didn't play any of their remaining games but was on the bench so I thought maybe they were calling him back in for the tournament. Uh, Martin Mapiza, uh, his first appearance had been in March 2021 and he played two of the remaining eight games and was on the bench for four others so uh, he's a candidate. Um, Petros Mari, uh, his first cap was in November and he played one of their two remaining games in 2021, was on the bench for the other. So it looks like they were scrambling for a goalkeeper um, in the lead up to the tournament here. Talbert Shumba is another possible candidate. He played four of their eight games in 2021 and was on the bench for two of those and not selected for the last two matches. So I would have had him as likely, except he didn't appear in the last two matches. And finally, in this group, uh, we have Taman Mbula. Uh, Taman Mbula, uh, his first and only appearance was a cap in November 
uh, which was their last game in 2021. So again, seem to be looking for a keeper. Uh, I will mention a couple of veterans, uh, or at least one veteran, George uh, Chikova, um, had 32 caps for the national team and actually was the starter in... Uh, um, no, he was not the starter in 2019 because he was suspended for the first game. But then he did come in and start. Uh, and finally, Elvis uh, Chipazesi. Uh, uh, Elvis Chipazesi. Um was the third string keeper in 2019. However, he hasn't appeared for the team since November 2020. And I'll go back and say uh, George Chikova uh, hasn't appeared uh, since that 2019 African Cup. So uh, a bit of a, a bit of a mess there for Zimbabwe in the goalkeeper uh, department. And I'll now take a look at who made it. And um, not uh, Washington Arubi. Uh, not Donovan Bar uh, Bernard, but uh, Martin Mapisa did make it. And uh, Petros Mari made it. And Tal uh, Talbot Shumba uh, all made the team. Uh, okay, I see here Taman Mvula uh, made the preliminary squad. Uh, but then did not make the final squad. So uh, George Chikova and Elvis Chipazeti uh, do seem to be off the team now. And uh, no idea among those uh, who would be the starter. Um, so I'll put them all as kind of um, likely candidates uh, or possible candidates for starting. Woo, that is a rough start. And um, Zimbabwe seem to not be settled uh, on goalkeepers, at least. Let's move on to uh, central defenders. And we begin with Alex Mudumi. We have him coded as a definite here. Um, oh, sorry, I was supposed to go back and give a little bio information on the, uh, on the keepers that made it to the squad. So I, I will say Martin... Um, Mapasi, uh, again, is with the team since 2021, and he has just two uh, caps. So he only played two of their games in the lead-up. He is with Zamora in Spain, uh, 23 years old there. Uh, Petros uh, Mhari is, uh, is 32 years old, uh, but he only has one cap for the team since 2021. Uh, again, he played that one game in November, coming in just at the end. He plays for FC Platinum in Zimbabwe. And finally, Talbot Shuma, Shumba, uh, he has nine caps for the team. He's uh, 30, 31 years old. He plays for Free State Stars in South Africa. Uh, he's been with the team since 2019, and he played four of their eight games in 2021. Uh, as I said, so actually, I would uh, I would um, think of him as probably the starter among those. But you should know that it's just a kind of a an educated guess there. Okay, going back to central defenders, uh, Alec Madumi, uh, Alec Medimu, um, is twenty six years old and has twenty six caps since 2018 we we considered him definite because he played six of their eight games in 2021 and was on the bench for one other uh he's played most of his career in england uh, kind of for smaller teams in england and uh interestingly he kind of decided to travel around a bit and played for uh sheriff tiraspol in Mondo uh, in moldova and Ankaraspor in Turkey, and now he's with Torpedo uh, Kutese in Georgia. So uh, really getting around there. Okay, the next candidate we consider likely is uh, Teenage Hadebi. He played three of their eight games in 2021, was on the bench for one of those, and not selected for four others, uh, including the last two. So actually I'm going to move him down to the possible category based on that information. Um, 
He's uh, he is uh, 26 years old and has 32 caps and four goals. He's been with uh, Zimbabwe since 2014, and he's currently playing uh, for the Houston Dynamo in USA. Uh, he was involved in the 2017 and 2019 African Cups, uh, just a substitute who never appeared in 2017, uh, but a, a starter for all games in 2019. So, um, yeah, maybe somewhere between possible and likely there, because they actually don't have a lot of other candidates here. Uh, coded as possible is Peter... Uh, Mudua. Peter Mudua had returned after a two year absence in November uh, to appear on the bench for their last two remaining games in 2021. So, normally, uh, I think I'd put him as, as uh, possible but unlikely. But the lack of central defenders here suggests that uh, they may call him up. So, uh, he is 28 years old. He's been with the team since 2017 and has 11 caps. But uh, he wasn't um, selected for uh, any tournament before. So definitely uh, seems to be a bit of a bench player when, when he's with the team. Uh, I'll just mention someone who seems to be off the team, or actually several players. Uh, Jimmy Dzingue, um had actually played the first of their eight games in 2021 and was on the bench for the second, but then not selected for the last uh, three matches. So it's uh, uh, um, possible they may bring him back. So I'll actually leave him a possible but unlikely. That's uh, Jimmy Dathinge. Uh Just a couple of names to mention, and then we'll go back over them if um, if they show up. Uh, Partson Juare. Uh, last appeared for the team in November 2019. Uh, Victor Kamhuka, uh, again, he played the first of their uh, games in 2021, but uh, didn't appear for the last six matches. And then um, Lawrence Malanga. Lawrence Malanga has been with the team for uh, since 2014 and was... was uh, in the 2017 and 2019 tournaments, but he was a substitute uh, at best, and he last appeared in that 2019 African Cup. So um, generally they bring usually four or five central defenders, so it is a little bit, uh, it looks a little bit thin here. But let's take a look and see who actually made the squad. And uh, no surprise that Alex Mudimu um, made the team, and he will probably be a starter there. And, uh, yeah, I'm actually not surprised that Teenage uh, Hadebe uh, made the squad. Um, he is a veteran, but I do wonder why he wasn't there for the last four games. Um, and... Uh, Peter Mudua also uh, made the squad. We had him as a possible. Um, and I would say he would probably be uh, a substitute uh, given his lack of participation in general. But uh, we actually have two uh, other players added. Um, so I'm going to create a category of new players here. And I will come back at the end of the podcast and and give a little biographical information from them. But for now, just the names. Uh, the first one is Tapiwa Sim, Sim, Sibanda. Um, and the other one is Frank uh, Makarati. So I'm. there's probably a reason they didn't uh, make the Soccer Files radar yet. But we will come back and uh, check into that. Maybe I'll just... Uh, leave them highlighted uh, there just to remind me to come back and do it. All right. Uh, so moving on to left backs, uh, we have a likely candidate in uh, Bruce Kangwa. Bruce Kangwa had returned actually after an almost five-year absence in October, but he did play three of their four remaining games in 2021. Uh, and was on the bench for one other. And again, it's a, it's a bit because there seemed to be a lack of other candidates 
uh, who have played regularly. So Bruce Kangwa uh, is uh, 31 years old and he only has 12 caps, uh, even though he's been on the team since 2009. And uh, he was uh, on the African Cup 2017 squad, uh, but he didn't see any action there, just on the bench. And he wasn't selected for the um, 2019 African Cup squad. He plays for Tanzania's biggest club, uh, Azam FC, uh, since 2016. Okay, now we have a, a few uh, possible candidates. Uh, Onismor Basera. Uh, Onismor Basera had played the first five of their eight games in 2021 and was on the bench for one of those, but not selected for the last two matches. So some some uh, some changes seem to have been made in the last two matches of their World Cup qualification in 2021. Uh, uh, Onismor Basera is uh, 35 years old and he has been on the team since 2006 and he has 40 caps he plays for super sport uh super sport united in south africa since 2016. uh he's he was a starter in 2017 started and finished all games but um uh the last he had played was in 2017 so he didn't seem a candidate in 2019 and uh, now here he is uh, back um looking like a candidate for for this cup okay that is uh on some more Becerra, and we'll move on to uh brendan galloway as another possible candidate uh brendan galloway um had his first appearance in October 2021 and played two of their remaining four games and was on the bench for two others. So he's 25 years old. And uh, as as you just heard, he's, he's on the team since 2021 with just those two caps. And he plays for uh, Plymouth Argyle in England. Um, it looks like he was born in England, though I don't actually have that information, but he's been with English teams uh, all the way, including Everton from uh, 2014 to 2019. So um, he seems to uh, have joined Zimbabwe recently, possibly uh, um, also eligible for England there. Uh, okay, we'll go uh, with the next Divine Lunga also at the possible level and he played two of their eight games in 2021 and was on the bench for one and not selected for five others so he plays with the Mamelodi sundowns in south africa at uh, 26 years old since uh, 2015 he's been on zimbabwe and uh, um, has 18 caps i think um the Zimbabwe coach is calling me, uh, telling me to try to simplify this, but it is not simple <laughs> in the case of Zimbabwe. Uh, Divine Lunga was a starter in uh, 2019, started and finished uh, games one and two, but actually got injured for game three. And our final possible candidate, wow, we have so many, uh, is Jordan Zamora. Uh, Jordan Zamora played two of their eight games in 2021, but was not selected for six of them, including the last two. So he's actually with Bournemouth in England, and he has four caps since uh, 2020, uh, only 22 years old. Uh, just a couple of names of uh, players who have been in that position, but now seem to be off the squad. Adam Chickson uh, last played in November 2020 for the national team. Romario Matoba um, first appeared in March 2021 and played one of their games, um, the first one, and then uh, has been off the team for the last six. So I think I'll move him up to possible, but unlikely there. Um, and finally, uh, Ronald uh, Fumbidze. Ronald Fumbidze, um last appeared in November 2019, uh, but he was on the squad for the 2019 African Cup. So again, we'll uh, give a bit more information about him if he's chosen, but he does seem to be 
not a candidate here. So, wow, we have um, uh, eight candidates for, for one position uh, at left back, although some of them do move around. Um, so the successful candidates were uh, our likely candidate, Bruce Kangwa, uh, made the squad, and uh, Onismore Becerra, uh, he also made the squad. We had him as a possible candidate. And uh, surprisingly, um, Jordan Zamura, maybe not surprisingly, um, but there are a couple of candidates there who were overlooked. So just three of those. Um, and I'm just going to go over to see if I can uh, figure out who the starter is likely to be. So it looks like, uh, hmm, it's tough to say. Uh, Bruce Kangwa came back to the team after a five-year absence. Um there i'm just going to put them all as maybe because even uh, jordan zamura um uh he does play for bournemouth in england even though he's new to the squad he might snatch the starting position there but uh it's hard to say there's no one being consistently playing in that position uh, over the last year okay let's move on to right backs which is uh, blessedly a little simpler and uh, you gotta love these um, Zimbabwean names uh, uh, this uh, God knows Mawira is a possible candidate uh, God knows Mawira is um, sorry I miscoded him there uh, had returned after a four-and-a-half-year absence in September uh, to play the last of their remaining six games in 2021. Uh, and he, But he was on the bench for three games. Uh, so we have him just as a possible uh, candidate there on right back. Um, and then possible but unlikely is Tendei Dariqua. Tendei Dariqua. Uh, returned after an 11-month absence in October to play one of their four remaining games, uh, but wasn't selected for the last three matches. So um, finally, we'll just look at, uh, we'll just give the name of Ian Nakati, uh, but he seems to be off the squad having last played in October in 2020. Before that, though, he had 11 caps since 2019, so he seemed to be in favour and then out of favor. Uh, we'll give a little bio uh, on um, on these players when we know who is actually there. And uh, did I make a mistake here? Because I have. Oh, I have another candidate uh, at the likely level uh, here. And it is a uh, ta uh, Takutswa Chimwemwe, Takutswa Chimwemwe, um, and I'll, I'll talk about him a little bit. I don't know what happened there, but uh, he was not on the list I was looking at. Um, okay, Takutswa Chimwemwe um, had played six of their games in 2021, was on the bench for one of those. Uh, and he plays in Zambia, for Nkana in Zambia. And he is 29 years old. And he's been on the team since 2014, but he only has eight caps. Uh, he didn't play in any of the tournaments uh, that they've had during his time. But he does seem to be kind of well established on the team uh, now. So. Now let's look and see. And he actually did make the team, Takutsa Chimwemwe. And I'm going to put him down as uh, the starter there because um, he seems to be fairly well established in the position. Uh, God knows Muira uh, also made the squad. But I'll put him down as a substitute since he didn't actually play that much. And uh, uh, Ten Tendeye uh, Dariqua didn't make the squad, and nor did Ian Nakate. 
um, there. All right, uh, moving now on to midfielders. Uh, we begin with defensive midfielders, and we have Tabani Kamusoko as a likely candidate uh, for a defensive midfielder. Uh, Tabani Kamusoko uh, uh, played five of their eight games in 2021 and was on the bench for the three others, so uh, almost a definite candidate uh, there. He's uh, 33 years old. He's been with the team since 2009 uh, and only actually has 18 caps in that time. So I see that in the 19, uh, 2019 African Cup, he was selected for the squad, but uh, oh, appeared only in one game. So he was on the bench. Uh, he also plays in Zambia for Zesco United and has been um, mostly in Zimbabwe or there and about in Tanzania also um okay uh, another candidate considered likely is uh kelvin madzongwe kelvin madzongwe uh returned after a two-year absence in october 2021 to play all four of their remaining uh games uh so he kind of stepped into the role maybe not the same role as uh thabani camus Kamusoko because they did play some games together. Anyway, he's been with, uh, I'm talking about Kelvin Madzongwe now, has been with the squad since 2019 and has six caps, but he's actually 31 years old. So a bit of a latecomer to the squad there. Okay, we have three more uh, candidates at the possible level. Um, and we begin with uh, Farai uh, Madhanaga. Uh, Farai Madhanaga had returned after a three and a half year absence in September to play three of their remaining six games in 2021 and was on the bench for two others. Uh, yeah, so a lot of players being called in from the past here. Uh, he was with the team since 2016 and has 10 caps and one goal. But he wasn't selected for uh, the 2017 or 2019 uh, African Cup. So yet another player um, uh, called in uh, from the cold, as it were. Uh, he plays his club football in South Africa. Um, he's been with a couple of teams there, including Bidvest Vitz. Uh, another possible candidate is Jonah Fabish. Uh, or Fabish, I should say. Jonah Fabish has uh, first appeared on the bench in September, uh, but earned his first cap in November and played the last of their remaining six games in 2021 uh, and was on the bench for three of those. So uh, he actually plays for Hamburg in Germany. So uh, he's been with the team since 2021, of course, with just that one cap and very young at uh, 20 years of age so maybe an up-and-comer uh for zimbabwe gerald takawa is the the last uh, of the possible candidates uh, sorry not takawa takwara gerald takwara uh including his first cap for the main team in november had played the last two of their remaining three games in 2021 and was on the bench for the first uh, two of these. So I think he played for, uh, um, you know, kind of a, a local African tournaments, uh, the Kosava Cup, uh, perhaps, but uh, just um, uh, came back to the national team. <coughs> yeah, he has 10 caps, so a lot of those would have been for local tournaments since 2015 and he's 27 years old. He played in Zimbabwe. And then a couple of uh, names that we're just going to throw out uh, because they no longer seem to be on the team is uh, Boutholazui uh, Nkube. Boutholazui Nkube uh, uh, actually played the first uh, two games in 2021, but then didn't appear uh, in the last six matches. So I should maybe move him up to possible, but unlikely. 
there. And then uh, a bit of a veteran, uh, Danny Fury, seems to be off the team. He was with the team uh, from 2012 to 19 and had 42 caps. Uh, he's 32 years old now, so that's not too old, but he last appeared in the 2019 African Cup. So uh, Danny Fury seems to be off the team. Okay, that's a lot of defensive midfielders. Let's see uh, who actually made it. And it is uh, our top candidate, Thabani Kam Kamusoko, uh, is on the team, as is uh, Kelvin Madzongwe. Kelvin Madzongwe uh, making the final squad there. And uh, also Gerald Takwara. Uh, Gerald Takwawa. Uh, although one of my sources lists him as a defender, um my default source lists him as a defensive midfielder and uh, we have a name that was uh, unexpected there um uh, a new name who hadn't made our radar before uh, and it is Tem Tem temptation chiwunga um making the squad uh i would probably say as a substitute uh here and um i think thabani Kamu, uh, uh, kamusoko and maybe also kelvin madzongwe um would but could both be starters uh and gerald takawa takwara uh not so sure um, because he didn't play that much in 2021. So we'll leave it at that. And we will review these at the end, um, who the people we think are starters. Uh, uh, now, central midfield, um, we have Marvelous Nakamba. And so he is a familiar name to fans of the Premier League. Uh, but we all only considered him likely because he only played four of their eight games in 2021 and wasn't selected for four others. However, that may involve a travel from England because he plays for Aston Villa uh, in England and is 27 years old with 26 caps since 2015. And um, he was a starter in 2019 but he got an injury on the training field um, in, between games one and two, so he wasn't available for that, only uh, started game one. He was also on the squad in 2017, and he didn't appear in game one, but he gained a starting position for games two and three there, so that might have been when he was uh, uh, developing his reputation. Uh, at the possible level, we have Marshall Munetzi. Uh, Marshall Munetzi uh, played three of their eight games in 2021 and was not selected for the five others, uh, including the last three. Uh, but because he seems uh, like a steady member of the squad, we put him at the possible level because um, I kind of expect to see him. 25 years old, he's been with the squad since 2018 and has 23 caps. And he plays for uh, Stade Reims in France, uh, having played for the Orlando Pirates in South Africa before that. So one of their bigger names, I would say. Uh, also possible is uh, Blessing Sarupinda. Uh, Blessing Sarupinda is 22 years old and had his first cap in September played one of their remaining four games, but was on the bench for four games uh, also. Uh, okay, and he uh, is uh, with South African team uh, Sekukum. Oh, I didn't uh, put his name up there yet. So we consider him uh, kind of a possible candidate. And then we have a few names that we'll just... Uh, name because they're possible but not likely or else seem to be off the squad and uh, Tanaka Chinyahara, uh, Chinna, uh, Tanaka Chinyahara um, played the first two games in March 2021 but then wasn't selected for the last six matches and uh, 
uh, never to Gary. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but never to Gary. Well, I'm not sure how to pronounce most of these names, if truth be told, but that one uh, is a little tricky. Has no caps for the national team, but he did appear on the bench for first in October 2021 and was on the bench for two uh, of their remaining four games. And uh, he is 31 years old, but he's only been on the team since 2019 and has uh, three caps and one goal. He's also with uh, uh, Azam in Tanzania, and he was with uh, FC Platinum in Zimbabwe. FC Platinum is a team that uh, the manager uh, coached quite a bit, so they may be familiar with each other. Okay, and then just a couple of names. Jess, uh, last Jesse. Last Jesse seems to be off the squad. Uh, including his first appearance on the bench in March. He just played one of their eight games in 2021, uh, but was not selected for the last six matches. Uh, so he only has one cap for the squad and seemed to kind of come and go there. They just seemed to try him out. And finally, uh, Tafadzwa uh, Coutinho, Tafadza Coutinho uh, has 15 caps for the team, but last played in March 2019. Okay, so, so many candidates. They, they seem to have been uh, uh, changing the team quite a bit over the last year, trying to find the right formula, perhaps. And a real surprise here, because uh, Marvelous Nakamba did not make the squad. Uh, nor did uh, the the possible candidates Marshall Munetzi and Blessing Sarupinda. Um, however, um, uh, Never Tigere, uh, a candidate who we had considered possible but unlikely, uh, is the only one of the lot who, who made the squad. Wow, what's going on there? We have two players added on top of it. Um, uh, the two players are Kunde Benyu um, I'll introduce them a bit later once I uh, learn a little bit about them. And uh, Shepard Malanga. Shepard Malanga, but Shepard Malanga actually uh, just made the preliminary squad and did not make the final squad. So we'll kind of uh, um, leave him aside for now, but we will come back and do Kunde Benyu, uh, who was added to the squad uh, fairly recently. All right, in the right midfield, again, uh, Zimbabwe is, is so tough to figure out. Uh, we have just one candidate, but uh, a candidate who seems to be off the squad. Um, uh, and it is uh, Talent Chawapiwa. Talent Chawapiwa. But he uh, last appeared for the national team in the 2019 African Cup, where he was subbed into game one and then gained a starting position. So... Um, uh, not a big player for the squad, but we'll come back and detail him um, uh, if he made the squad here. But he seems to be off the squad. So that's the only right midfielder uh, that seems to be on the radar. And uh, in terms of left midfielders, there are no players uh, uh, coded as left midfielders. But uh, there is a left winger. Uh, a left winger uh, who we consider to be possible but unlikely, and that's uh, Tafadzwa Rusiki. Uh, Tafadzwa Rusiki played two of their eight games in 2021 and was on the bench for two of those, but was not selected for the last four uh, matches. And he was, uh, he's actually 32 years old, he's been on the team since 2000. And nine and he has 22 caps and two goals uh, but he was off the team uh, for a period of six years um, a period of six years I'm not uh, I think he came back in 2019 uh, even though he didn't make the African Cup squad 
in 2019. So possible but unlikely is Tafadwa Rusiki. And we'll go over to the right wing. We have two candidates as possible. And they are uh, Perfect Chikwende. Uh, Perfect Chikwende uh, earned his first cap in March and played four of their remaining games in uh, 2021, four of their eight games, and was on the bench for two of those, but not selected for the last two matches. So again, obviously some big shakeup in the last couple of games. He did score one of their goals in qualifying. And uh, he plays for Simba in Tanzania, another one of the bigger clubs in Tanzania. Uh, so he's 28 years old, but he uh, played his first game in 2021. Uh, the other candidate is Rama uh, Raman Kutsanzira, uh, who we consider possible. So Raman Kutsanzira uh, returned after a nine-year absence, believe it or not, uh, in October to play one of their remaining four games. Um, and was on, also on the bench for one of those. So uh, maybe a little uh, uh, unlikely. But yeah, uh, 31 years old and with the team since 2011, but only five caps. So um, I'm actually going to move him down to possible but unlikely there. Uh, finally, we, we do have a, a possible but unlikely in Bill Antonio. Uh, Bill Antonio is, uh, had his first cap in November and played one of their remaining two games in 2021, uh, but was not selected for the other. So uh, uh, coming in late, maybe I'll move him up to possible because he was brought in at the end there. So obviously they were trying to find new players. So uh, let's take a look and see which of those uh, players made it. Uh, I'm not sure if I covered uh, talent uh, Chawapiwa um, among the right midfielders, but anyway, he didn't make it, nor did Tafadzwa Rusiki, uh, the, the possible but unlikely left winger. Uh, wow, and our two possible candidates at right wing, Perfect Chikwende and Raman Kutsanzira, and neither of those made it, but the unlikely Bill Antonio did. So uh, some big shakeups with Zimbabwe here. They seem to be bringing in um, uh, players who didn't play much uh, over the last year. <laughs> okay, well, moving on to attacking midfielders are uh, a couple of their best known players. Uh, Kama Biliak. And we've coded him as a definite. Uh, Kama Bilia played uh, five of their eight games in 2021. He was injured for the first of those, but uh, obviously over that now and not selected for one other. And he uh, was a starter in 2017 and 2019. And um, yeah, a pretty impressive player. He, he, he seems kind of an intellectual type and a very clever player. Uh, um, I won't go on too much, but uh, he's 31 years old, though, so uh, getting a bit older. Been with the team since 2011, and in that time, he has 51 caps and 17 goals, and he plays for the Kaiser Chiefs in South Africa. So the next candidate is Kudakwashi Mahachi. Uh, Kudak Wachi Mahashi is also a veteran of the team, and he played all of their eight games in 2021. So um, we definitely expect to see him. Uh, he was a starter in 2019, but uh, was actually only a sub uh, briefly in 2019. Sorry, I think uh, I made a mistake there. He was a starter in 2017. Um, but yeah, just a sub in 2019. But I call him a veteran because he's been with the team since 2013 and has 41 caps. 
Uh, he's 28 years old. And he also applies his trade in South Africa with Supersport United and has been with some of their bigger teams like Orlando Pirates and Mamelodi Sundowns. Uh, and finally, Knowledge Musona, uh, who's the captain. And uh, but we only have him as uh, sorry, we only have him as likely uh, because he played five of their eight games in 2021. Was on the bench for one of those, but not selected for the last two matches. So uh, uh, he is, as I say. Did I say 31 years old? He's been with the team since 2010 and has uh, 20, uh, 49 caps with 24 goals in that time. So almost a goal every second game. He's currently with Al Tai in, uh, South, in Saudi Arabia, but he's been with some bigger teams. Uh, Anderlecht in Belgium. Uh, he was loaned to Hoffenheim in Germany. No, he was with Hoffenheim in Germany. Uh, but loaned out by them for the last year there. Um, yeah, and he was a starter in games in the 2017 and 2019 African Cups. He was actually the, the captain in 2019. Uh, he scored actually five of their nine goals in qualifying for that 2019 uh, African Cup. So those three players uh, are... You know, for me, the most familiar names on Zimbabwe. We also have a couple of other attacking midfielders in, uh, just give me a second here. It's Terence uh, Zukamanya. Terence Zukamanya uh, played five of their games in 2021. So we have him as a portable and was on the bench for, for one, but not selected for the last two matches. So a definite pattern here. Uh, as I've mentioned, with a shake-up in the last two matches. Uh, Terran Zukamania uh, is with the Orlando Pirates in South Africa, but he hasn't played in any tournaments. He's 27 years old, and even though he's been with the team since 2017, uh, hasn't played any tournaments. He has 14 caps. I just mention uh, a couple of names of players who seem to be off the squad, and one of them is Rodwell uh, uh, Chinvengatere. Rodwell Chinvengatere last played in November 2019, and uh, another veteran who seems to be off the team, Ovidi Karuru. Uh, Ovidi Karuru, he's only 32 years old. Uh, he's been with the squad since 2007 and has 50 caps and seven goals uh and he actually played the first two of their games in 2021 but uh not selected for the last two matches so maybe i'm jumping to a conclusion there uh i'm gonna put him as possible but unlikely uh because he still could make an appearance we'll just cover uh the secondary striker here before we check and uh, check in on these players and we have just one candidate as uh, as possible, as a possible, and it's uh, Knox Mutizwa. Knox Mutizwa uh, had returned after an almost two-year absence in October to play the last four of their remaining games in 2021. Uh, so he is uh, 28 years old and uh, been with the team since 2014, and he has 22 caps and six goals. Uh, and he was on the roster uh, in the 2019 African Cup, but he didn't uh, make any appearance with Golden Arrows in South Africa, is Knox Mutizwa. So let's see uh, who among these players made that. Uh, and we're in for some more shocks here because Kama Bilia did not make the squad. Uh, but Kudak Washe Mahachi did. I imagine he'll be a starter, uh, and Knowledge Musona did, and uh, I would bet my house on him being a starter. Uh, but none of the other ones we mentioned uh, made the squad. So uh, Terence uh, Zukamanja uh, didn't make it. Ovidi Kararu, not selected. Rodwell Chinyangatere 
uh, did not make it. And uh, Knox and Mutiswa uh, only made the preliminary squad, but not the final squad. So more and more surprises as we go. Okay, finally, we move on to forwards. And um, we have two likely candidates in uh, Takutua Chimwemwe. Takutua Chimwemwe had played six of their eight games in 2021 and was on the bench for one other. Uh, however, he's been with the team since 2014, but only has eight caps. So, yes, I see that in 2020, uh, in 2020 he returned after a six-year absence. So it looks like he got a couple of caps in 2014 and then uh, wasn't selected for a long time. He's 29 years old and plays for uh, Nkana in Zambia. But he seems to have made his way into the team and is a, a likely candidate here, as is Ishmael Wadi. Ishmael Wadi uh, had his first cap in November, but he played all three of their remaining games in 2021. Uh, so, um, however, he is 29 years old, so earning his first cap at 29 years old. He plays for Caps United in Zimbabwe, one of their bigger clubs. Okay, at the possible level is David Moyo. He returned after a one-year absence in November to play to play the last two of their remaining games. And he plays for Hamilton Academical in Scotland, 27 years old and on the squad since 2014, but only five caps for David Moyle. And then uh, several names that we'll just mention but seem to be uh, off the squad. Uh, so... Uh, Clive Augusto last played in uh, 2019. Uh, Prince Dubé, uh, interestingly, has uh, 11 caps and seven goals, so he certainly makes the most of it when he's on the field. Uh, however, he hasn't appeared for the team since November 2020. And Tino Tenda Cadawere, or usually uh, Tino Cadawere. Uh, plays for Lyon in France. So that's a big club. And um, even still, he was, uh, he was uh, only uh, a substitute in the 2017 and 2019 African Cups. He just started with Lyon in 2020, so seems to have moved up. Uh, but played only one of their games in 2021 and was injured for one other and not selected for two others, including the last four. So um, maybe I'll move him up to possible, but unlikely, um, because they would probably want, you know, a player who uh, who is good enough to make Lyon in France. Uh, Evans Rusicki. Evans Rusicki uh, played the first two of their eight games in 2021, but was not selected for the last six matches i'm going to put him as possible but uh, unlikely too because he was involved in the 2017 and 2019 african cups even if only as a substitute uh, and finally nyasha Mush uh, uh nyasha Mushekwi, uh last appeared for the national team in the 2019 african cup but he uh, is actually a fairly uh, big name for the team uh, with 21 caps and six goals. Uh, but he was a starter in the 2017 and 2019 uh, African Cups. So um, off the team, he's, th he's 34 years old. So uh, it may be that he's moving into retirement. Whew, this is a tough podcast, I gotta tell you. There's usually not this many players floating around, and I gotta say, uh, well, I'll save it till the end there. Okay, let's see who uh, who made it here. And um, oh, I see what happened here. Uh, yeah, what happened here is uh, uh, Takutsa Chimwemwe. Uh, I had him as a forward on my list for forwards for some reason, but he's actually a right defender. 
So we have actually covered him before. So uh, we move on to Ishmael Wadi, who uh, made the squad. Uh, our possible candidate, David Moyo, also made the squad. Um, Prince Dubé, uh, we thought he was off the squad, but he made it. So um, <coughs> Antino Tenda Cataware uh, also made the squad. Uh, but none of the other, others, Evan Trusiki, Nayashi Mushekwi, and it was it Clive Augusto. Uh, none of those made the squad. Now, it's very difficult to determine uh, who would be uh, the starter here, but um, I'm going to just take a stab at it and say uh, uh, Tino Cadawere, uh, even though he was absent from the squad for a little while uh because he has made the squad because he was selected uh i think they they may try him as a starter i'm not sure but a bit more complication for you here because we have two players uh two players who were not on the radar uh coming into the squad and that is uh panache mutimbanyoka panache mutimbanyoka uh, I'll get a little information on him soon. And uh, finally, Admiral uh, Mus Musque. Admiral Mus Musqua. Musque. Sorry. I've never, uh, I've never seen that name before. Okay, well, I have a little information on the players that, we, uh, that, that are new to the squad. So I'm just going to go back uh, over those. So... Uh, okay, we had a couple of central defenders that were added to the squad. Uh, yeah, Tapiwa Sibandi and uh, Frank Makarati. But actually, I see that they uh, made the... Um, preliminary squad but not the final squad so i am going to give them a pass in terms of giving biographical information because uh, we have so many players to deal with here and i'm going to go down to the uh, defensive midfielder who uh, was unexpectedly added to the squad and that was uh, temptation chiwunga uh, temptation chiwunga uh, was new to the squad. He had never appeared for the national team before being named uh, to the preliminary squad. So that's obviously why he didn't appear on my radar. He's 29 years old, though, and plays for uh, JDR Stars in South Africa. Not not a big club there in South Africa, but um, has been added to the squad, and I would guess uh, probably as a substitute rather than as a starter. And now there are uh, two candidates in central midfield, but one of them, uh, Shepard Malanga, uh, just made the preliminary squad and not the final squad. But the one who did make the final squad was uh, Kunde Benyu. Uh, he was born in England, uh, but he's currently playing in Iceland. And he's 24 years old and joined Zimbabwe in 2017, but has only amassed uh, two caps so far. So um, I, I would doubt that he would be a starter uh, there. And let me see. I think we have uh, two forwards to talk about, both of whom made it to the uh, final squad. But let's take a look and see. So, uh, pa uh, Panache Mutimbanyoka uh, also had never appeared for the national team before being named to the preliminary squad. And uh, he plays for FC Platinum in Zimbabwe uh, and is just uh, 19 years old. So, uh, a very fresh player for Zimbabwe there. Uh, but I would guess uh, probably going to, going to, uh, start on the bench 
Who and finally, admirable um, Musque. Well, he should have made my. Uh, he should have been in the soccer files because he scored a goal in 2021, 2022 uh, World Cup qualifying, uh, and he was on the team since 2017, actually, but returned after a two-year absence when named to the preliminary squad. So he's 23 years old and has. Uh, four caps but a bit of an interesting player he he was with Leicester uh I don't think he got onto the field very much but with Leicester in England uh well 2020 and 2021 but he was with the youth setup since 2007 so 13 years with Leicester's youth setup and uh, uh basically played a year uh, for them, I think he was loaned out, in fact. And now he has moved on to Luton in England and uh, has uh, thrown his uh, international cap into Zimbabwe's ring. Okay, well, I got to say, in a quick discussion of what I see here, uh, I see utter chaos, I got to say. Uh, it seems like none of the players, uh, apart from maybe... Uh, some of the big players, some of the big attacking midfielders, um, <coughs> uh, Kama Biliat and Kudakwashe Mahachi and Knowledge Musona uh, played a lot of their World Cup qualifying games, but then Biliat didn't make it for this squad, and they seem to make a lot of changes in the last two games, uh, mixing and matching, and very hard to know who's going to uh, start or be on the bench here, and a lot of the players that we kind of predicted uh, being on the squad didn't make it. And just uh, when you have this many players on, on the plate, and I'm sorry that it made for a, a very complex uh, podcast, but uh, even just goalies, uh, when you have eight goalies uh, under consideration and six of them as possible considerations, it means the team is you know, bringing in new goalies and trying to find one to fit the bill uh, and obviously not satisfied with the ones that they have or uh, the ones that are, they're bringing in. So they may have found among these players, they may have decided a starter, but if they did, they decided that very late and uh, none of them is, is really standing as a starter. But we chose Talbot Shumba uh, as the most likely among those possible candidates uh, to be the starter. And uh, Martin Mapisa and Petros Mahari will be backups there. Uh, one of the more stable players, Alec Mudu, uh, Mudimu, uh, as the definite central defender. And because he made the squad, uh, I think he was absent for a few games with Teenage Hadebe, we consider him a starter. And uh, uh, Peter Muduhua uh, as, a, as a substitute. Left back again, you know, there's like eight candidates uh, being considered there. And we couldn't figure out which one had played enough to, to look like the starter. Uh, so Bruce Kangwa, Onsimor, Basera, and Jordan Zamura, all uh, kind of possible uh, starters there. But we did uh, consider uh, the right back. Uh, position pinned down by uh, Takudzwa uh, Chimwemwe. And uh, God knows Miwero will probably be a uh, the right-back substitute, kind of the backup. In the midfield, uh, Thabani Kamusoko and Kelvin Madzongwe uh, seem like they're going to be starters. And then a few candidates uh, available uh, on the bench. Uh, central midfielder uh, is a really shocking situation because uh, we had a whole bunch of names, including Marvelous Nakamba and a couple of possible candidates. But then one of the unlikely candidates, uh, Never Tigere, was the only one who, who uh, made it. That is unbelievable because usually the uh, central midfield position uh, you know, there's usually five or six players there, so I have no idea what's going on. But uh, we did see a couple, uh, uh, Kunde Benyu uh, kind of added to that list. 
Oh, wow. Among uh, right and left midfielders and wingers, too, uh, among all the candidates that we uh, introduced, uh, it was only one unlikely candidate, Bill Al Antonio, uh, who, who made it. So um, not sure what's going on there. But a bit of stability in the attacking forward lines with uh, Kudakwashi Mahachi and Knowledge Musona. So uh, Captain Knowledge Musona will be the kind of anchor player of the squad. And then in the forward line are, are um, uh, we picked uh, Tino Kadawere as the uh, likely starter uh, with Ishmael Wadi and, and David Moyo coming in. Uh, maybe starting or uh, uh, probably the first to sub in. So that is uh, one heck of a podcast. They're way more complicated than most podcasts. And, and I think it actually points to a bit of trouble uh, for Zimbabwe uh, um, here because going in with such an unstable squad uh, usually doesn't bode uh very well but we'll see i like zimbabwe so all the best uh to their chances and hopefully uh other podcasts won't be as complex as this one thanks so much for uh listening or watching and uh have a good uh african cup <laughs>